Hey guys, what's up? It's Fastboy23 here, back with another episode of Blood and Bones. This is episode number 15. And today, guys, we are going to get into witchery a little bit more, uh, hopefully a little bit more successfully today. Because last time, uh, we did not do very well. So, what do we need? Uh, well, I know we last time, uh, ooh, we're going to put our helmet on because, yeah. I look so cool with this helmet. I don't know. I, don't know, I just like the way that looks. <laughs> anyway, um, so we need chickens because we need eggs to make our Utandus. Uh We have the hint of rebirth. We have two cactus greens. Uh, we do have enough mandrake root. We do have the bone meal. Uh, we could use more cactus greens. You know what I'm thinking, guys? We need to make uh, some type of skeleton grinder, maybe? Um... Possibly some kind of, uh, I don't know where we'd find a spawner at. We'd have to find maybe a, a roguelike tower, one of those obsidian towers. I've got spawners all over, the only thing is I'd need a silk touch pickaxe. And to do that we'd need an enchantment table, and to do that we would need, well we could make an enchantment table. So we have books now. Maybe I'll look into that guys, I'm not sure yet, but for right now I only have seven levels anyway. Um, so we're not going to do that right now. I think if I get up to 30, we'll do that. Uh, otherwise, for now, I'm just going to go out and look for chickens. So, uh, what time is it? Okay, it's, wow, it's the middle of the day and it's absolutely garbage outside. Uh, good news is, I might be able to go outside and grab some bones. Let's see if there's any skeletons out here. I see somebody out here. There's a bunch of zombies. I don't hear any skeletons. I hear a bunch of zombies. That's all I really hear. So if any of these guys want to play. Oh, there's a creeper. I want to play with you. Through the door? Really? Really? Good news is, um, it's a day later and I'm out to find some chickens. So, I'm hoping... What the heck? Oh, this is our village. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Um, I vaguely remember seeing chickens in the village. They might have been sheep, though. I can't remember too well. It was a long time ago. So I'm just going to look around here and see if I can't find me a chicken. If I could find me a chicken, I'd be a very happy man. I'm guessing I'm going to find one before the episode's over, no problem. Oh, yep, because I just got some feathers over here with my magnet mode on, and I'm thinking they're over yonder. Let's see if I can't find a chicken here. Come on, chickens. Where did you come from? Grab up all this fruit. There's some mushrooms. Good. Pumpkin! Oh, clutch. I wouldn't mind finding some cocoa seeds either, guys. We're going to need some cocoa seeds for, I believe, cookies. Yeah, this pumpkin, man. Now, with this pumpkin, guys, uh, I could show you guys a little mini trick that uh, that you could use to get infinite snow. Alrighty, guys. Day one unsuccessful, but we did find a sheep for our other sheep. So, GG there. Um, let's have them make some love, not war. Our cactuses once again didn't grow today. Um, I'm starting to think that it's not going to happen, so... <coughs> Uh, I think it might be time to make a better barrel, guys. Um, I don't know what else to really do right now. I'll make some better barrels for my stone and maybe some other thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So maybe some other things also. 
And tomorrow, guys, I'm hoping maybe we can find a, um, a chicken. Alright, this is really easy to make, guys. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. So let's go ahead and make up a better barrel and throw that stone in there. Alright, guys. If you guys aren't uh, familiar with better barrels, they're pretty cool stuff. Um, basically, you just take whatever you want. Uh, in this case, it's going to be stone. You throw them up in there. Right click it. Double click all those in there. So, this process is actually pretty quick. Let's get the hang of it. Just double right click on it, it throws all of it in there. Right click it. Okay. That's not, that's not what I wanted to do. Shift click. There we go. It was a shift click all along, guys. And then shift click this. There we go. All about the shift click. Why didn't I think of that? Should have thought of that. So now. Let's throw the rest of the stuff in here. And we should be good, guys. So yeah guys, all we're really waiting on is for this weather to clear up, and then we can start looking for some chickens. It kinda stinks, but there's really nothing we can do. Alright guys, so uh, we're good to go. <clears throat> just turned daytime, rain stopped. So let's see what we got outside here. I'm just gonna make a run, oh, no I'm not. Oh crap, that's a charge creeper. Okay, let's just, let's just run away. Let's just run away. Not mess with the charge creeper. There's no, no way. Okay. Um. Cool. I'm just gonna cross this river. All right, guys. So day two of our mission, we need to find ourselves a chicken or two, uh, preferably two. There's that charge creeper. That guy is nasty. All right. So, oh, I hear a chicken. I hear a chicken. I hear a chicken. Is that a chicken? That's a sheep. I swear I heard a chicken. I hear him. You guys hear him? Where is he? But he's hiding under these trees. Where are you, chicken? It's, oh my gosh, it's plain as day. There's a sheep. I think they're stuck in here. I'm gonna end up breaking these shears because these chicken are just. Where are you? Oh, I see one up there. I see him. I'm gonna catch you. Yes, sir. Sweet. Okay. Where's the other one? I hear. Still hear more. I'll try to catch the second chicken here. There he is! Chicken spotted! RP chicken spotted! Successfully captured. Yes, sir. Alright, gents. Uh, ladies and gents, I don't want to be that guy who's just... Says... Gents. Um, let's go on head home. Let's go on This mission successful. I do have magnet mode on, so when they drop eggs, I'll just randomly pick them up. So maybe we can put them down here. Let's do that. Let's put them right here. Alright, cool guys. So I got my two chickens, and they look pretty good. I did want to show you guys this earlier. I'm going to go ahead and grab... I guess fences will work. Alright guys, so here we go. Uh, what you have to do, you're going to make a couple of blocks of snow. This is, uh, is that blocks of snow? Perfect. Alright. And I should have done this a long time ago, but I just couldn't find a pumpkin, so... Uh, good thing I found one now. Because I could finally show you guys this. And I'm sure some of you guys do know about this already, but... For those of you who don't, this is a pretty cool way to get free snow. Uh, all the time, so let me go ahead and... I'm going to... Fence here. Fence here. There. There. And then I can't put because. Well, get 
this thing in the way. But once this thing spawns, I believe I'll be able to put another one on top again. So anyway, this is a snow golem. Uh, he's stuck. As you can see, he can't move. So yeah, guys, he's just gonna be able. He's just gonna be stuck in here. Um, I'm pretty sure he can't move. But yeah, all you do then at this point, you just kind of go over here. Just break a bunch of snow. It's pretty easy. It's also, if you think about it, a really good way to level up your shovel. Um, if for whatever reason you feel like you need to level your shovel up a whole bunch, you literally just sit here and do this. So, uh, yeah, pretty simple method. Um, nothing too hard about it at all. And free snow for life, so this guy sticks around and uh, we can have some fun with him. Alright guys, so I went outside and I was grinding some enemies for a little bit. Um, I ended up getting some bone. Where is it? Got 11 bone. Um, put this zombie flesh up. Took a little bit of damage on my, uh, my armor, but that's fine. I'm gonna eventually get replacements for that anyway. Uh, I might start that tree farm now that I have 11 more bones, guys, and I'll get that going back here. I do have to grab my saplings. We'll see. Uh, this guy. These guys are so freaking annoying. So guys, I'm going to grab my uh, saplings, so let's go ahead and plant this bone meal it up and see what happens. Alright guys, so uh, I did a little bit of, uh, well, planting and bone mealing and such, and I did get quite a few spruce saplings. So yeah guys, I'm going to throw a couple more of these in the, uh, in the witch's oven. Like mm, that many. Throw 17 in there. See what we get for that. I'm just kind of tired of knocking those trees down because that was kind of a pain in the butt. <clears throat> and I was punching the trees. Eventually, I just grabbed my old. I forgot I had my old hatchet. Uh, but it was pretty much too late at that point, and I already had about 20 saplings. So I was like, well, a couple more times. Okay, good. Look at the cactus is growing. Awesome. Alright guys, so good news, uh, I guess all you have to do is really just AFK here, um, I got a couple of eggs, uh, just standing around here looking at recipes, so maybe that's what I have to do. I'm gonna see if I can't make a couple more safari balls, maybe I'll kill a couple enemies and get a couple more slime balls, and grab a couple more chickens, cause it seems like I've waited for about two or three days, and they finally laid some eggs, so, <clears throat> I don't know guys, either way, uh, right, what I wanted to show you, I can't make exactly what I want because I don't have the onion to do it or the spice leaf I don't think I have so two things that I need that I do not have but what I can make in the meantime uh, is this uh, pizza it's a wholesome meal pretty good food attribute uh, that you get from that so I'm gonna go ahead and make four up um, you can see the crafting recipe was right there go ahead I think this is what I needed no Close. Double cheese, tomato, and oh, I need a pork chop. That's not a pork chop, is it? I wonder if I could use a cooked pork chop. Actually, I could leave this stuff in here, can't I? Nope. Thought I could. And now I can't put. There we go. Um. I'll try a cooked pork chop, but I don't think that'll work. But you know what? There's only one way to find out, right? No, it will not. All right, guys, that's fine. But you see how to make it, and yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on the next thing. All right, guys. So I got 17 wood ash and six hint of rebirth, which is pretty darn good, I believe. 
So I think we have enough now to go ahead and make this. Um, uh, what we need here for the mutandus. So uh, let me check up what we need for that. One more time. And we need some bone meal. I think we have it all. So let's go ahead and throw this up in here. It's, guys, it's pretty much just a matter of the eggs and the cactus, it looks like. Everything else I can get pretty easily. So, it's Mutanus Extremis. I don't know what this is. But... Um... I'm not going to mess with it for now. I don't know anything about it. So... <clears throat> Anyway guys, let's let's go show you guys how this stuff works. What you're going to want to do is you're going to come just in an open area like so. And grab your bone meal. And just bone meal the ground. Just fucking bone meal the ground, okay? So you see you get some stuff. Um, you know, nothing big. You know, some rutabagas, whatever, what have you. And I'm just going to clear a little space around here. This cow is, I don't know what he's doing. Gotta go, Mr. Cow. So, then what you're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna take any one of these grasses, doesn't matter which one. I'll use, uh, I don't care, one of these. And you take your, mutan uh, your mutandus, right? And you just click on it. And ember moss. I'm pretty sure this is something I need because it says witchery. I don't know what it's used for. But I'm pretty sure you need uh, shears to pick it up. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. Okay, it did come up. Okay, good. Uh, so then I think you go to the next one. And you just keep going until you get some rowan sapling. Okay. I know that's something I need. Let me just break that. But, yeah, guys, I think I broke too many pieces of... That's fine. Go ahead and throw this up here. Some sunflower seeds. Clear the little area, and back to the mutanda. So this is pretty much this process. This process goes on for a while until you find everything you need. Um, alder sapling. Okay. Um, I think you just break this, right? Yeah. I think uh, rose. Don't need that. Glint weed. I think you need this. Let's see, flower no, oak sapling no, fern no. Spanish moss, okay, I think you need this too. And there's a few other things you can use, guys. Um, <clears throat> I don't know exactly what off the top of my head. Uh, but obviously those things we need, so you just keep going. Uh, take another one of those. Another one of those. Hawthorn sapling, I think you need those. And the alder sapling. Alright, so we got all our saplings. Um, next thing, guys, we have to find out. Oh, I was hoping that was an onion. If we could find some onion seeds, guys, that would be huge too, because we've been. Well, me personally, I've been trying to find an onion seed for a while, and I could use it to make that pizza. For some reason, I thought I had one, and I didn't. So, I think we did good with this mutanus, guys. We found a lot of uh, different types of um, just things for the witchery, so I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to go see what I can do with all this stuff, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so I just looked up what I'm going to need for this... Uh, next group of stuff, and I'm not gonna find it in the water, which I just fell in. Um, I'm gonna need to plant this rowan sapling, and I'm gonna need to bone nail it, just like I did the other stuff. So let's grab the rowan sapling, let's grab some bone meal, and now we have to cut down this rowan wood and see if it drops any more saplings. I'm hoping it drops at least a few. <clears throat> and then what we do, guys, is we pretty much just uh, throw it up in the uh, witch's oven like we did the first time 
and hopefully we get a chance of getting uh, what we need. So let's hope we get some rowan saplings. For right now, guys, let's just throw our rowan saplings in the witch's oven, and let's see what comes of it. Uh, I'll put, I'll just save three saplings. All right, guys. So I went on ahead and I grabbed um, three buckets of lava, which I think should be more than enough for what we need. Okay, I only need two of these hints of uh, our whiff of magic. Um, and I just threw some wood ash. So let's go on ahead. <clears throat> I do have the diamonds, I believe. So it's two diamonds. Like this, maybe? There's one the tune stone, and there is two. I know I'm going to need at least two um, from what I'm looking at up here. The distillery and, <coughs> excuse me, the kettle. Um, I don't know which one you make first. I think the distillery is first. Uh, but I'm not sure. Just use the question mark thingy thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, and a one. Okay, we have a distillery. So, how does the distillery work, guys? Well, I have no freaking clue. Alright, here we go. Um, I think this is all it is, right? Oh, tombstone. Boom, kettle. Alright, so we've got our kettle. I think the way this kettle works is you have to put something underneath it. Like a torch or something, right? And then you have to fill it with water. I think I saw it done before. Uh, let's grab a bucket of water from here. And if I'm doing this wrong, guys, like I said, feel free to just tell me that I'm doing something wrong. Um, I don't know if this is even going to work with that under there. I think it's supposed to start bubbling. Um, so I might even move this over somewhere. Um, all right, so let's. I'm gonna look in here and see what the next thing I need to make is. And now that I have my kettle and my distillery, I think I can start making some decent things. So let me go look up some stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I seem to have outgrown my living arrangements for this area. I know it doesn't look like it, but I like to have a lot of room. So I'm actually gonna probably expand out at least a few more bricks uh, out this way. Uh, either next episode or in between episodes, maybe off camera time. Um, <clears throat> from what I'm reading, I also might have to expand upwards uh, to make something. So we will see about that. Let me go ahead and throw my water back in here. I did move that. Um, so we'll I'll figure that out when the time comes. Anyway, as for right now, I need to make one more attuned stone. And then I could make something else, guys. So let's go ahead and make that a tombstone. And there we go. Now I can make something else. I have to make picture frames. Item frames, I mean. Then I think the recipe is as follows. I'm hoping I'm doing this right. No, because that... There we go. And this is a spinning wheel. Um... Once again, not really sure what it does, but it looks pretty cool. And throw it right there. So yeah, guys, now we have three, four of the main items. I <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm sorry, I'm still fighting this cold. Um, <clears throat> four of the main items we're going to need to make uh, a lot of the potions and stuff we're going to have to make for the uh, witchery. So, um, like I said, I really don't know what any of them do, but uh, I know that they are needed, so. Alright guys, little side note, I also needed a brewing stand because I was looking at some of this other stuff and it looks like 
You are going to need a brewing stand for some of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to look at some more witchery stuff, guys. Um, ah, this is just... It's like a whole new world for me here. I didn't even know it existed. Critter snare? A broom? What the heck does this do? Enchanted broom? Can you fly? That'd be really cool if you could fly. Oh, jeez. Statue of the Goddess, you need a demon heart four nether stairs. Wow. This thing better poop out diamonds, or I don't know if it's even... Must be doing something crazy. I'm going to take oak saplings. I have a ton of oak saplings. Let's throw some oak saplings in here and see what happens. I'll just throw 20 of them. Throw a whole... whole bunch... Actually, guys, I probably should make some more clay jars. It seems... Not that I'm running out, but... I've got a ton of clay. Um, I'll go ahead and make some more clay jars while I'm waiting for those. Oh, and these quicklime guys. Uh, basically, you just take wood ash, put it in the... Uh, crafting table, and it just automatically makes it if you just click on it, so... Nothing too great there. I need any birch saplings, which I do have, I think, a few. Do I not? Yeah, I've got ten. Throw eight. Alright, guys, so here we go. Um, I think this is all it takes. Oh, no, I need rowan wood. Alright, so I've got six altar stones. I uh, don't know what these are for just yet, but I think I need six. I think I've seen this done before. Um, <clears throat> yeah, guys, honestly, uh, I don't think I can get much farther with what I know. So, I'm just going to call it here. Uh, we did get a lot done, actually, um, considering... <clears throat> which I honestly didn't think we were even going to get this far. So I'm pretty excited about that. <clears throat> I'm really, I can't, I can't apologize enough about this cold, guys. This is really, really kicking my butt. Um, hopefully in a couple days it'll be gone, but for right now it's just, it's just in my throat. It's just, uh So, but, uh, anyway. Uh, I think this is probably going to wrap it for now. So, we do have our kettle. Our uh, brewery, with spinning wheel, witch's oven, distillery. We've got our altar, which I need to set up. I got all those saplings, uh, rowan saplings, all this other stuff that we can we could make for witchery. Uh, alder saplings, hawthorn saplings. Um, I mean, we are we are really I think set to go here. So. Uh, next episode, guys, we're going to get a little bit more into witchery. Um, hopefully, find out a little bit more about going to that uh, dream world. And I'm pretty sure it has something to do with these dream weavers. Maybe we have to, like, put this above our bed and go to sleep. I'm not too sure. Uh, but I think that's what it is. So, uh, I'm going to look at some more of the stuff in the NEI and see what more we can make. So, I definitely do want to go to the uh, dream world and find those fantasy ores and get that stuff going. So, yeah, guys, uh, job well done today. I'm going to go ahead and take my helmet off and I'm going to go take a dip in the pool. Let's see if we jump in there. Very cool. I'm going to take my shears out because, you know, shears for the win. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's probably going to do it for now. So yeah, that's the end of the episode, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you guys had fun. We got a lot of stuff done. We made all our tools for witchery, even though we didn't really make much. We made a few potions and um, you know some altar stones and look at me lag. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And I, much again, guys, I can't apologize uh, enough for my cold right now that I'm going through. I know I just said it like two minutes ago, but it's really bugging me. I'm sure it's bugging you guys too, so... Uh, I've been taking medicine. It should be cleared up in a couple days. Not a big issue, see? Doing my sit-ups. 
and I'll be back. I'll be back to normal soon, so bear with me, guys. But, uh, yeah, if you guys liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit it really hard. Hit it with some, some forceful vigor. Hit it! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just, just hit it. Just hit that like button. Also, guys, if you are uh, new to my channel, don't forget, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We like subscribers. We like people to watch our videos. Um, I feel like every video I'm doing a little bit better, so uh, hopefully, you know, at this pace, by at least uh, 2018, I'll be a really good YouTuber. I don't know where I got that number from, but who knows. Uh, but yeah, guys, hit the like button, subscribe, and um, leave some comments. We love comments, so that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Uh, I'm going to relax here in this hot tub and think about my witchery and maybe uh, get my iPad out. This looks like an iPad kind of, right? Not really. No, not at all. And uh, yeah, we're gonna watch some we're gonna watch some YouTube videos on how to. That kind of looks like an iPad a little bit. No. But you know what I'm saying, guys. We're just gonna do some more research and uh, get it done. So I will see you guys in the next one.